Here on this 2009 Honda CRV, we're going to be having a look at and showing you how to install the Curt T Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with a four pole flat trailer connector. Part number C55106. Here's where wiring looks like installed. This four pole flat wiring harness is going to give you the basic lighting functions that are required by law in order for you to safely and legally tow a trailer. This green wire, this is what provides your right turn signal and right brake light. The yellow wire provides your left turn signal and left brake light. And on each one of these wires, we have a total power output of three amps, which is more than sufficient to tow a small trailer with two incandescent light bulbs to, per side or as many LEDs as you want because they do draw less power. The brown wire, this is what provides our tail light and our running light signal for all the clearance lights on our trailer. And on this wire, we have a total power output of five amps. So we can run several incandescent lights on it or as many LEDs as we want. The white wire provides a necessary ground connection between our CRV and our trailer. We have this nice dust cover here that we can use to secure a wiring harness around our hitch or not using it. It also helps protect our wiring from any of the elements, but you can put some dielectric grease inside of it to help better protect it. We have this available on our website as well. Now this wiring is designed to be stored inside the vehicle when it's not in use. However, some of our customers have asked if we can actually mount it outside for a more permanent solution. You don't want to drape it outside your hatch opening. The answer is yes. You would just have to find a grommet to pass your wiring through in order to do so. So when routing this wiring outside to use it through the hatch, you'll simply lay it flat on top of your weather stripping here making sure to avoid your latch for your hatch so it doesn't get pinched. When we're not using it, we just lift up on our spare tire cover. We can place it inside there, close our cover up. It's out of the way. Now that we've got some features of our wiring harness, we'll show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, we're going to open our rear hatch. Now we'll take out our spare tire cover and set it aside. Now we need to remove our threshold. To do that, We'll remove these small clips that are at each corner of it. We'll press in on the center of it with a small screwdriver. And then we can pry out the entire clip. Now we'll take the prongs here and push them back up. This way we can then reinstall the clip later. We'll repeat the same process on the other side. Now we'll remove our cargo tie down hooks by using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we can remove our threshold by pulling up on it. Set it aside. Now we'll remove this plastic push pin fastener on the driver side interior panel. Use a trim panel tool for that. Get underneath it, pop up, and it'll come straight out. Now we can grab our interior panel, lift up on it a little bit, and we'll pull apart to separate it from the driver's side. Closer to our back seat on the driver's side, we'll find this white connector that's taped up. This is our factory tow package connector. We'll pull it apart from this wiring harness and remove the tape around it so we can plug into it. Now we'll take the matching connector on our tow package wiring and we'll plug it into the factory connector. Once it clicks in place, you'll know it's secure. Now we'll take our module and our double-sided tape We'll peel off one end and we'll press it onto our module. And we've already cleaned off an area where we're going to stick a module. So I'm going to peel off the other end, stick it there, and once we're done, we'll show you where we stuck it. So right in this cavity right here, we just stuck it on the top of the inner fender liner. Now we'll take our four pole flat wiring and we'll just route it behind the panel right in this area here and rest it inside our spare tire. And we can reinstall our panel now. Now we'll reinstall our threshold. Now reinstalling these fasteners, since we have it pushed out now, let's push in and we'll lock it in place by pushing the part here down 
flat. Now we'll put our spare tire cover back in. And now we'll test out our wiring. We're using a four pole flat trailer tester, which we have available on our website as part number I26. We'll start by turning on our headlights. And as you can see, our tail light and running light function is working properly. Now we'll do our turn signals. Our left one's working. And our right one's working. Now we'll test out our brake lights. Those are working, and with our foot on the brake pedal, we'll double check and make sure our turn signals still function properly. Perfect. Everything's working like it's supposed to. And that completes our look at and showing you how to install the Curt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with a four-pole flat trailer connector, part number C55106 on this 2009 Honda CRV.